My name's Adam. I'm Kendall. I'm Josh. And I'm Nathan, and we're the creators of Right Hand Bank. The city of Evansville has become widely industrialized and urbanized, with 163,000 total jobs in the area and a strong job growth rate of 2% yearly. This leaves Evansville with an unemployment rate of 3.5%, a rate that is well below the national unemployment rate of 3.9%. With Evansville's strong job economy, it should be easy for everyone to get a job, but unfortunately there's still 427 homeless people in the area, a number that is stagnant for the previous year. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development reported that the main structural barrier between a job and the homeless population is a reliable source of transportation. Bounded bus routes, expensive cab rides, and <coughs> me, missing bikes make it extremely hard for homeless people to rely on Evansville's public transportation systems. Two weeks ago, I had the privilege of speaking with Kenny, a homeless person in the care of United Caring Services, a homeless shelter located here in downtown Evansville. He explained to me how he had been homeless since 2007. After his stepbrother passed away from an overdose, he could no longer afford the upkeep, upkeep of the trailer they were living in. He was then forced to move to the streets until stumbling upon United Caring Services, which took him in open-heartedly. He explained to me how the public transportation was super unreliable, so pursuing a career and committing to a job was just unrealistic. So we created Right Hand Van, a reliable source of transportation that seats up to 15 passengers. People are eligible for our service after they have exhausted their rides with Work One, which lasts for 90 days. Right Hand Van will pick up its passengers from the four main shelters located in downtown Evansville, connecting them with good jobs outside the range of local transportation. Three round trips will be made a day, hitting first, second, and third shifts, shifts to businesses as far as Toyota. Right Hand Van, comparatively, of all the transportation systems, is better. We have free compared to all the other transportation systems. Uh, we have uh, we pick up before and after shifts uh, compared to the rest who run 24 hours and aren't efficient time wise. And lastly, we go outside the borders of the city, unlike the rest. Uh, we add value to the homeless shelters because we will decrease the population that they have inside, uh, therefore opening up space for other homeless people that need to be inside. Uh, we reduce or we add value to the employers by uh, reducing the uh, turnover rate uh, that they have bring in new employees. Uh, and lastly, we add value to Evansville, uh, reducing the population of homeless people in Evansville. Our value proposition is for the homeless population in Evansville, Right Hand Van provides transportation from the shelters to work and back. Unlike public transportation, Right Hand Van caters to specific work shifts and operates outside the city limits. Now I'm going to talk about our business model. Uh, our key partners are also our uh, customer segment of our primary users, uh, the shelters and employers. <laughs> our, uh, the shelters, we're going to pick up from four shelters downtown. Um, Those and Family Shelter, Evansville Rescue Mission, United Caring Services, or UCS, and Ruth's House, which is operated by UCS. <clears throat> uh, our employers, <coughs> we're going to be our key partners because that's where we're going to, they're providing us with a destination to take our passengers, and they're providing our passengers with an opportunity uh, to get a good job and to improve their life and get out of being homeless. And our key activities, uh, punctual transportation will be vital. Uh, if we can't pick up our passengers and get them to and from work on time, everything else that we're doing just falls apart. And another key activity is uh, applying for grants. And this goes uh, affects our revenue streams. Like any other nonprofit, uh, we're going to be seeking a lot of funding through federal grants. These grants need to be applied for on an annual basis and are awarded on an annual basis. So that's something we'll have to continue to work on. Uh, another one of our key activities is networking. Uh, this brings in our customer relationships and all of our channels. Uh, networking between our office, our driver, the shelters, and the employers will be vital to our success. Uh, with our end users uh, being very low tech and not having much access to technology, um, the shelters will be important because that's where they can use a phone if they need to call their employer, if they need to call us. Um, our driver will be uh, making multiple stops at each of these shelters, so that gives them uh, more than one opportunity to make face-to-face -face contact with us on a daily basis. <clears throat> and uh, our key resources. Our first two key resources are our van and our driver. 
Uh, without either of these, we can't even begin to deliver on what we're trying to do in our value proposition. <clears throat> uh, our other key resources are the shelters and uh, the employers. The shelters are providing us with individuals that need our service, that want our service, and uh, the employers are providing uh, jobs for the people that we're going to be transporting, as I mentioned before, providing them with the opportunity to, to overcome homelessness. Uh, onto our value propositions, our first two value propositions are safety and reliability. We intend to safely and reliably transport our passengers to and from their jobs uh, in an efficient, cost-effective manner. Uh, our next value proposition is peace of mind. And uh, we plan on uh, bringing value to our primary users, the shelters and employers. I'm sorry, our uh, end user and the employers. Uh, we're going to bring peace of mind to our passengers by uh, giving them an option, uh, a way to still get to work after they've exhausted their 90-day limit on uh, getting rides from work one. And we're planning on uh, offering them another nine months uh, that they can use our service. So that'll give them a year to, to be able to get their own vehicle, and uh, that'll keep their job. And then we're going to bring peace of mind to the employers because they'll know that after uh, these individuals have exhausted their rides with work one, they'll still have a way to get there, so this will reduce their uh, HR costs associated with hiring and training new employees. And then I uh, talked about our customer relationships, networking is going to be really important. Uh, and our channels, as I mentioned, the shelters, that's our portal to uh, our end users. Our driver will be there to make contact on a face-to-face -face basis numerous times a day. And then as I mentioned, it's pretty low tech. so. Just a regular old phone is about as high tech as our communication is going to get. And now I'll turn it over to Josh to talk about streams. Uh, our costs will include uh, the driver makes twenty dollars a trip. Uh, our van, our first van will be donated, uh, and every van after that that is not donated will be about twenty-eight thousand uh, dollars. We will have about two hundred dollars a week on gas, and uh, our van maintenance will be about fifty dollars a month. Uh, just to make sure that the van is uh, fine-tuned and able to make these trips efficient. Uh, then our revenue will come from uh, ad space in the van. Uh, companies can put their logo, uh, their slogan, anything they would like on the van. Um, we will be applying for grants, uh, social and community service uh, to be uh, specific, and in-kind gifts as well, uh, just donations from uh, the public. So given the opportunity, right hand van will help decrease the homeless population in Evansville and help drive Evansville's strong job economy. Thank you.